What's up guys, it's David here, and in this video I'm gonna give you five first aid tips. I'm gonna tell you where you should go, what you should do to give yourself the best possible chance of success. Let's get started. All right, I don't wanna waste your time, so let's get right into it. The first step is to make it easy on yourself. Look man, the first date is really just an opportunity to see if there's any romantic chemistry between yourself and the girl who you're meeting up with. So for that reason, you don't wanna invest a whole lot of time or money or energy into the date because at the end of the day, there's a chance that it might not even work out. Now, in order to make it easy for yourself, I recommend that you ask the girl just to meet you for a round of drinks. This isn't gonna take a lot of time, it's not gonna be super expensive, and it's also pretty low pressure. It's not like you guys are sitting down for dinner and you have to be face to face for like an hour or two hours of dinner. And on top of that, to really make it easy for yourself, you should ask her to meet you at a bar that's near your house or near your apartment. On one hand, that's gonna minimize the time investment, and on the other hand, that's gonna give you the best chance to bring the day back to your house at the end of the night if that's what you're trying to do. All right, anyway, I'm gonna go walk to meet my buddy Dave and we're gonna keep this video going. What's up guys, I'm here with my buddy Dave. What's up man? So he actually runs a dating advice blog called Postgrad Cast Nova. I'll link that in the description. Anyway, I'm gonna let him give you tip number two. All right guys, so tip number two, confirm, confirm, confirm. So the day before, you wanna send her a simple text message and say something like, hey Jessica, we're still good for tomorrow night. And then the day of, probably about five or six hours before the date, hit her up again, send her another text message, and this time say, hey Jessica, I'll see you at 8 p.m. All right, so there's two reasons this is an effective strategy. Number one, it makes it real in her mind. She can no longer rationalize flaking on you because you've already reached out to confirm. So if she does flake, then she becomes a person who flakes and nobody wants to be that kind of person. Number two, if she doesn't respond or she does respond and says no, then you're not gonna waste your time showing up at the bar and getting stood up. All right, it's hot as fuck in Boston and my forehead is starting to glisten. So we're gonna find a little shade to keep filming. All right, we found some shade and we feeling cool. Anyway, number three is to hug her immediately when you meet her. This doesn't matter if it's outside the bar or if it's inside the bar, but you wanna start by giving her a nice warm, firm hug. This is gonna make a strong first impression and it's gonna make her perceive you as a confident man. Now, if you make the mistake that most guys make and you go in for one of those like half-ass hugs where you're not really touching each her body or you're going for like a weird handshake, this is gonna make a bad first impression. She's not gonna perceive you as a confident man and it's gonna get the date started on a really awkward note and it's gonna be hard to recover from that. Anyway, we're about to go get some smoothies because it's hot as fuck and we need those proteins for the gains. But we're gonna make this interesting. We're gonna race there. You in? I'm in, bro. Let's go. So as y'all can see, Dave broke the door while he was racing in to beat me. Anyway, I'm gonna let Dave give you tip number four. All right guys, tip number four is to keep the conversation focused on the girl. So basically you wanna encourage her to talk about herself. This does two things. First off, it makes her feel good, right? People enjoy talking about themselves and it's gonna be more engaging for her as well. And second, it makes it easier for you. You don't have to think of as many things to say and you don't make the dumb mistakes that a lot of guys make when they talk about themselves, you know, which is bragging and trying to impress the girl. So the easiest way to do this is to encourage her to talk about her interests and her experiences. So for example, let's say she traveled to Spain and she really enjoyed her trip. You could talk about what she loved about Spain, some of her best experiences there, would she go back again, and other things like that. Anyway, I'm gonna give you tip number five. In a second, we're gonna find a better place to film. What's up, we're at my old alma mater, BU. We're done with these. 
Nah, I'm just kidding. Litter is not cool. We'll go pick those up in a second. Anyway, the fifth and final step is to take the lead because people naturally find you more confident if you're someone who's comfortable making decisions. And one easy way that you can demonstrate this on the first date is to switch venues and to grab a second drink at a different bar. So when you guys are finishing up your first drink, before you have a chance to finish the drinks and she has a chance to order another drink, ask her, do you wanna bounce from here and get a drink at another bar? And if she says yes, then just suggest another cool bar that's nearby. And if you're feeling confident and the date's going well, then another way you can take the lead is after you get that second drink to ask the girl, do you wanna come back and hang out at my place for a little bit? And what you do after that is beyond the scope of this video, but you can always check out Dave's site, Postgrad Casanova, the link will be in the description, and there's plenty of good articles on that site that will guide you. So I'm gonna wrap the video up here because we got things to do, but those are five simple tips you can use to immediately improve the quality of your first date. And if you're looking for more actionable steps that you can take right now to build true confidence in yourself so that you naturally portray confidence and naturally attract women whenever you're talking to them, I actually just released a brand new course that's completely free that teaches you my new system for rapidly expanding your comfort zone and overcoming social anxiety. If you want to get access to that now, just click the I in the top right corner or the link in the description. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you like my channel, make sure you hit subscribe because I release a brand new video every single Monday and every single Thursday. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up. I'll talk to you in the next video. I better talk to you in the next video. I'm going to be mad, bro. Stay beastly.